Studio Y, and welcome to my first, actually this may be my second I think, Halloween video, and this time I'm going to be making some awesome DIYs. So, you might be like, why the heck are you showing me a bowl? Well, this is for the first DIY. So, you're going to need paints, um, um, I just, black paint is highly recommended, okay, um, a bowl, that's in the shape of what we're making and a paintbrush which i do not have with me right now and the first thing we're making is a cauldron so black for the cauldron this this is the closest thing that i found that's a shape of a cauldron and my mom's like do you want it i was like yeah I can make a cauldron out of this. and when i went to the dollar store i got um if you saw my haul i got spider webs so i have some leftover ones in this jar right here okay there's like little corks in here <laughs> but this is the spider webs in here, and we can use it at the end to use it to like make it look all like foggy and stuff. So that'd be really cool. So yeah, let's get started. I have now moved to a new place where I can paint without like getting everything messy. So what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to get a soft brush and paint your bowl black. Done painting the inside, flip it over and paint the outside like this. Here is the final result of the collagen. As you can see, I shoved it with this spider web stuff. So it looks like it's just exploding with magical stuff. You can also put many things like candy and well, anything you want in there. And you can even like put a candle in here and you can light it and make it look really cool. So yeah, just have fun with it and you can use it as a really cool decoration. So yeah, this is our collagen. You guys like it on to the next DIY. Next we're gonna be making these really creepy cool floating droopy candles that are fake. Okay. What you're gonna need is a toilet paper roll, candle, white paint, paintbrush, and a hot glue gun for awesome details, which I will be showing you after I'm done most of it. Oh, also paintbrush, because you're paint. So let's get on to it. Yep, I'm back down here again, and ignore my brother's leg on the background, but what you're going to want to do now is paint the toilet paper roll white, but make sure you do not paint the inside, because you don't need to. Okay, so I have just finished painting it. You do not have to do the inside, okay? Don't worry. After this, you're going to want to get a hot glue gun. With your hot glue gun, you're going to want to kind of make some, like, kind of droopy kind of swiggly just like make this kind of thing and it'll kind of look really cool and droopy like the candles melting onto your toilet paper roll and ignore all this this is my brother's like oh this is just everywhere <laughs> it literally took me like five seconds so you just want to go like up and down with it until it kind of makes this really cool like crazy droopy kind of thing okay guys so this is what they would look like after you put the thing over you can do many layers of this give it a really deep creepy effect but i kind of just liked it kind of classic like this dripping down so yeah so you're probably like well it's not a candle here i have my candle i want to do with this make sure the glue is dry too okay you're gonna want to pop it on the top so as you can see it probably falls down Kind of depends on the shape. Whoop! <laughs> okay, well, let's try this in. Kind of depends on the shape of your thing. So you can, like, bend it and do a lot of stuff so it fits it maybe perfectly. But if it just doesn't do that, like this one, it's not fit in. Um, you can shove a bunch of, like, toilet paper roll kind of stuff down inside of there to, like, push it up so it can stand up so it doesn't just fall through like that the next day away we are going to be making a really cool kind of like harry potter look of a witch one and what you're going to want to need you're going to want to have like a really old kind of pencil that you don't really like and it's better the longer the pencil is the better because it's a witch wand so yeah for the details for this we are going to be using a hot glue gun so you're going to want to make sure you have one of these and to paint your wand at the end, you can have any color wand you want. I'm just going to use this brown regular paint to paint my wand. And you also need a paintbrush, which I never have. But yeah, I do have. It's just not here right now. So yeah, on to the wand. So now with my hot glue gun, I am going to make like a really cool design onto your pencil. 
So it looks like uh, kind of like really cool which one. So it should kind of look like this so far. I'm doing like a circular swirly motion and then yeah. After that, you're gonna wanna paint your wand. I suggest doing a bunch of layers so it looks really good and real. So I'm literally about to go trick or treating here and I'm just redoing the audio because it's really bad right now. But this is what the wand looks like when it's done. Um, it's really cool. I would take another video with better like quality and lighting, but um, after like I went to the park and before I went trick or treating and I lost it because it came out of my pocket. So I'm gonna go see if I can find it, but. I probably won't be able to, so that's just great. So anyway, I hope you guys had an amazing Halloween and tried some of these DIYs, and I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for my videos. Bye!